Hello guys, Patriot Elemental back once again with Draco Sodas here. I'm loving this music! And we're back in Mag Mammal 2. Uh, level 66. Mam... Mab... Chomp Man. 20.4. 22, 15, 16, 28, 21. We got a high ranking score so far. Oh. Five Nobel Nickels. This is gonna be fun. Oh no. Oh, it's a skippable stage. Whoa! Dang! Hey! Excuse me. Oh, I have six E tanks. Let's just do that. No. Oh, what the hell? I want my noble nickels. Why did this have to start with a skippable stage? I hate skippable stages! Shit, right, changing weapons is bad. Thankfully, lives are unlimited in this in Magnum 2. And we have weapons. I knew that Buster Roman nonsense wasn't gonna last for long. Who keeps making these levels? Yeah! <laughs> oh, Cossack! Give me that little bit of help. Uh, okay. Flashbacks of Tri Nitro Man stage. I don't trust anything. Oh, wait, that's probably a checkpoint room. This is no. A very. a lot of enemy spam, but we made it to the first checkpoint. Nice. I must persevere! You are aware you have a charge shot, yes? Yes, I'm well aware. Oh, we got the stomp stomper type enemy from uh, Mega Man 4. Thank you. Oh dear. Whoa! Bomber Gambos? Um, what even is my life right now? Oh no, no. Cannon. Take you out. Oh. First order of business, grab that. Second order of business, respawn bombs. There was a very simple way you could have done that without needing to respawn bombs. Really? Yes. I know, but I wanted to grab the health and the... Noble Nickel. <laughs> okay, just as a rule, nobody should design their Mega Man levels like this. Oh, we've 
got these. Where were these from? I don't know. It did, uh... Ah, uh, magnet! Whoa! The belayed missiles? <laughs> oh! Can we even go this way? No, we cannot. Okay, so this is a linear stage. the red blocks and then jump or not. However you want to play this. Hmm. I'm betting it'll all make sense eventually. Mostly, the blocks and the spikes in the yellow color are all connected. Yeah. But how do I go back from here? I don't know, but you screwed up. You know what it wants from me? Yes. I'm good with these types of puzzles. Alright. That's why I have you here. Hopefully it's not the only person. Well, no. Hey, fool, you found yourself. Mother said my college education wasn't worth anything. Um, do a barrel roll. What? Do I keep going? Yes. Okay. First of all, what's this? It's just health. That's always nice. Oh, them. Keep going. Yes. Okay. What? Uh, get up to that ledge with the delayed missiles. Yeah. Yes. Now, do you see that little hole right in front of you? That leads to a sliding area where you can land on the connected yellow blocks. That'll get rid of the blocks around the nickel. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm here. Of course, you still need to get rid of those green blocks. I guess not. I have them, might as well use them. Oh wait, I do still need to get rid of the green blocks. Oh 
Okay, so you're supposed to take out the yellow ones beforehand. There's a- Ugh, fans. I am not a fan of fans. Yes, thank you. Rain. Still going. What? The Ring Man mini boss, or one of the two kinds. Frankly, that one makes more sense than the hippo. Oh. Oh no. Jet. Dual satellite. Much better alternative. That was my fault entirely. Alright. I have this, the triple blade. I got us something. And then I died. But I got the something! Okay, now can we rush Jet? Yes, now we can rush Jet. Because it allows us to still fire as well. I, I'm well aware. I should have had that. Uh -oh. We're running out of weapon energy. Ah, uh, so you see my flight. Made it! So long, suckers! No, you do not! No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Alright. Why is it even my suffering? I'm not the one playing this game. I honestly don't know. Alright. So... Oh. Oh, there's a thing up there. So... If we do that... Then we should get ourselves a nice snowball nickel. Okay, that's what that guy was supposed to do, but he sort of glitched and went over there. Okay. The beetle. The beetle that is not of the gravity. Well, when you think about it, gravity beetle wasn't really of the gravity either. That's true. I mean, he used black holes. That was about it. Nothing gravity about his stage whatsoever. The closest we got was wind physics. And falling platforms. But who are you? Oh no! Oh, a 
custom boss is always nice. That's an interesting concept. Freaky. I've never seen a snapper trap turned into a boss before. That's fun. It is. How many of the Nobel nickels did we get? All of them! Holy crap, calm down with the enemy <laughs> placement. Yep. There's an insane amount of enemies spammed everywhere that just make you die over and over and make it basically impossible to do this level buster only. It also really doesn't help that the enemies that are spammed are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Sniper engine. in the engine. Sniper and Apache Joes. The Apache Joes have a horrendous tendency to jump scare you and dunk you into pits, and Sniper Joes are just Sniper Joes. Obnoxious, beefy time wasters. And on top of the enemy spam, there's just some seriously bafflingly designed rooms, like the room with the Sheet Man blocks. It's an okay concept, but you can easily get stuck if you go in the wrong order, and there's just so many enemies dumped everywhere that it's difficult to even navigate the maze. And for a level called Chomp Man, you'd think there would be more one on. There would be more, more one ons, but nope, there's like three. And to top it all off, there's actually a pretty good boss fight at the end? It's polished and pretty okay, even if the Chomp attack is unfair sometimes. It's like the level and the boss were made by two different people. That might have actually been the case. I'm sorry, but that level was a complete disaster! You used so many gimmicks, but they were all executed very poorly, and this level clearly wasn't designed with other players in mind. After a while, I got really tired of getting cheap-shotted by the Copter Joes, specifically the ones over the Count Bombs. The part with the Sheet Man blocks was the worst, because if you don't do it correctly, you can find yourself trapped with no way out other than to use the Super Arrow. If you run out of Super Arrow and have no M-Tanks on you, whoops! Too bad, you have to press the suicide key and restart the section. I keep forgetting about the suicide key. The only salvageable thing about this level was the boss, which was a fun fight, although it took some learning. The rest of the level was just bad. Get your levels tested by other people before you submit them. This level feels rather messy. It feels like somebody took a level and condensed it, jumbled it up to the point where it's overwhelming, and the player will have a lot of trouble dodging every obstacle and proceeding in the level. There are also ideas which only briefly make an appearance and are never seen again. I also managed to get soft locked in this level. The level needs a lot of work. I think a good place to start is by introducing features one by one rather than dunking them all on the first screen, which allows you to ramp up the difficulty and add more features and less hectic environment. In a more controlled and less hectic environment. More controlled and less hectic environment. Thanks. The boss of this level looks adorable, but I felt like his hitboxes were slightly too big. Okay. I have many mixed feelings about this one. While I liked the stage layout, the level design was awful. The main- well, the level design was awful. The main issue is that there is a series of overabundant- there is a serious overabundance of enemies, which are also often placed poorly. Of course, this makes the stage very frustrating. On the bright side, I like how the stage looks, and as I mentioned earlier, I like the general stage layout and some sections of the level. I don't see what's so chompy about this level. If anything, this stage has a fetish for missiles and Apache Joes. Anyway, yikes, this is a real this is a level with some really nice gimmick usage, absolutely ruined by its enemy placement and selection. Okay. Uh yeah. Search man. I've been searching for leaks of the results for hours! Do you know who won? I can't find anything! Search man, right. Yeah. So uh I am and with that, uh this I'm actually gonna end things here. Um, until next time, this is Hatred Elemental and Draco Sotazir signing out. We hope that you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Rather short episode, but who cares? Yeah, still longer than some of the ones that I've usually done. Some of them... Some of my videos and other things do end up being like four minutes. And we broke the 20 minute mark. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>